Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Now, one of the most requested type of videos are my 10 cards videos. So I thought today, why not? Let's go ahead and make 10 cards. Instead of using a card kit, I created my own kit. So I'm using products from the latest collection by Spellbinders. And this is a Serenade of Autumn. And I'm going with this 6x6 paper pad. You can see it's a lovely paper pad. It is one-sided and you get two pages for its design. It is one of those uh, pattern papers that um, is special with uh, lovely golden details in some of the papers and a lovely fall color theme. Now for my cards today I chose products from the same collection so I know that they coordinate and they make my life easy. But you don't have to use all the products from this collection. However, you definitely need to use the 6x6 paper and the ephemeras. Now, I will also throw in some of the gems from the same collection. If you don't want to grab those, you definitely don't have to if you have other similar colors that match the collection. I will also use some of the butterflies. Again, there are butterflies, many butterflies in the ephemera pack if you don't want to get those. But these are adorable. They are plastic and they are quite dimensional. However, when you place them on top of a card, you can squeeze the butterfly wings inside the envelope and it's going to lay completely flat. Now, let's take a look at the stickers that I will be using. These are chipboard stickers. Again, it's not important to have them for creating the 10 cards. I will be throwing some of them in some of the cards, but you can definitely work with the ephemeras. So you can either get all those products that I'm showing you today or just get the 6x6 paper pad and the ephemeras to recreate all the designs. Now let's take a look at the ephemeras and when I get an ephemera pack I like to lay everything on top of my uh, glass mat, on top of my craft area so that I can see exactly what I have and I always like to create kind of uh, groups of images. So in one side I place all the flowers, in another side you will see I place every little um, butterfly, you will see that I have groups of uh, leaves or groups of pumpkins and that's how I go. These ephemera are not support or uh, cardstock, this is just plain paper and you get two of its design. So after I lay everything on my desk, I then try to find what would match lovely together and kind of create clusters. So let's start to and create the first card for today. Keep in mind that when I'm making 10 cards, they are always quite simple to reproduce, very easy to make all the 10 cards in one go. And you can definitely create sets and hand them out as gifts. Now you know that I love pattern paper and for all the cards I will be using one of the papers as well as ephemeras on top of it. So I'm starting with this beautiful pattern paper and sometimes the pattern paper is beautiful on its own. You can just cut it out and stick it on top of a card, add a sentiment and you are good to go. In this case I want to add some dimension. For that I used a couple of butterflies and just stick them on top by using foam tape at the back. This adds dimension, more interest, so it doesn't look as plain as it actually is. And I'm going to pop on top one of the happy birthday banners and my card is pretty much done. As a finishing touch on my cards, I like to add the gems, sequins or little dots here and there. I always find that it adds not only a sparkle, a touch of shine, but it also makes the card look more whimsical. So I'm using a few of those dots here. And you can see here some close-up photos on the first card that I made for today. So now let's move on to the second card for today and for this I'm starting with the brown pattern paper. I have one of my rectangle dies. These have a lovely stitching all around and I'm going to cut out a rectangle. I'm going to place that on top of my card base and I do have foam square at the back. By the way, all the cards that I'm making today are the standard card size 4 and a quarter by 5.5. Now for this card I want to use grateful as my sentiment and then decorate on top of it with other elements like the pumpkins and the leaves that you see I have on the screen right now. So I did use a thin strip of foam tape for my sentiment and I'm going to place it down. And I love the brown as the background, it gives that full look and feel and at the same time it helps all the colors pop against the background when I stick them on top. Now uh, another um, advantage of having a white border around your ephemeras is that they pop easily when you place them even on top of a very busy background. However, this is not the case since I have 
plain um, a brown at the back. Now I'm just going to tuck behind those pumpkins and then decorate them left and right with the um, uh, leaves. For the pumpkins I did go with foam tape at the back to add dimension but for the layer of the leaves I'm going with a glue so they lay flat on the background. Now for all the cards you can definitely add some blink by using the gems. For this card I decided to go with my contour liner because it uh, gives you the ability to create as small of uh, dots as you like and I went with the gold. I'm just adding a few of them here and there and they add uh, that whimsical look and feel. Plus I'm going to add some white splashes just because I love them but they are definitely optional. And this completes the second card for today that has that mixed media look and feel just because of the added splatter. Now when I play with pattern papers I usually uh, use one of my rectangle dies and just rotate it all over the place to try and decide which part of the paper I want to use. Now I want to have this circular um, sentiment and you can have it either on the side and have kind of a wreath on one side or you can cut out the center which I'm going to do and have the circle sentiment at the center as well with a few of the leaves popping at the top and at the bottom but it really depends the same design can work either way in terms of card design notice that i always like to cut out my pattern papers slightly smaller so that i end up having a little bit of a border all around i always pop the pattern paper with foam tape so i do get those natural shades and the dimension that i like i feel like having a frame on a card always gives a more finished look now I'm popping the sentiment at the center and the card is pretty much finished. Again, I said in the beginning all the cards are going to be really quick and simple to recreate. But of course I'm going to decorate it with a few of those leaves. For some of the leaves I'm going with foam tape at the back. For others I'm just going to stick them down. And um, you can add even more leaves. There are plenty of them available in the ephemera pack. But I would always add them in, the, in a diagonal. I wouldn't go all around. Since I already have a lot of uh, things going on at the background, top and bottom. And of course we did get those gems along with this collection. We need to use them up. So I'm going to use some of those dots and add them again on a diagonal. Not all over the place. I also grabbed my white contour liner and I'm adding some dots, white dots here and there, mainly where it uh, contrasts with the colors underneath. This also adds up into the finished look of the card. And you can see here some close-up photos. Now for the next card I'm going to use this gorgeous pattern paper and you can see this has this lovely golden detail on top of it. I don't want to cover it up, I want to use the pattern paper and help it show up its beauty as much as I can. So I'm going to use one of my rectangle ties and cut out a part of it. And sometimes the pattern paper is so beautiful you don't have to overdo it. Just the pretty pattern paper makes the card. However, I want to add something interesting on top. That's why I come up with ideas such as this golden uh, thread. I'm going to wrap it around my pattern paper. And you see, I did use some uh, tape to secure it at the back. This is a detail that adds some interest. It, does, uh, it adds texture and dimension. Plus it is golden, so it matches perfectly with the pattern paper. Again, I have foam tape at the back. I'm going to place it on top of my card base. And then I'm using one of the ephemeras that uh, has a golden, lovely sentiment on top of it. And I'm going to stick it on one side. This is, again, with golden details. It is foil, so I feel like it matches perfectly. Now, there are some leaves that you can use to decorate it even more if you like. However, I decided not to use them on this card. I love the simplicity of it as it is now, so I'm just going to play with some of uh, the hearts. I'm actually going to remove the biggest one and place it on top of the sentiment. And here I'm playing with the chipboard stickers. These are nice and thick, they do have dimension and they are quite forgiving. So you can see if you don't press them hard from the beginning, you can easily peel them off and stick them on another area. Now I'm going to add some uh, golden dots here and there just because I don't know when to stop. And here are some close-up photos on this card.
Now challenging myself to make 10 cards out of specific products that I have on my craft desk is one of my favorite things to do. I absolutely love it, but I don't do as much as I want to because it is a pain to do the video editing. It definitely takes me way more time to do the video editing than the actual crafting uh, for the 10 cards. So anyway, let's move on to the next card. For this one, I'm going with this beautiful pattern paper with the leaves. And this is going to be my background. So I do have a white panel that I'm using foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick it on top. A very simple card design. I'm sticking one of the sentiments from the ephemera pack at the center and then I'm going to use some of the gems scattered along the diagonal again. For this card design you do have the option to make that wreath look fuller because there are elements, uh, cutouts in the ephemera pack that you can use tuck underneath like leaves etc to make it look fuller but I'm going with a clean and simple design I think that it's always nice to be able to make cards in no time for when you need them and here are the close-up photos on this card and we are already halfway through so let's move on to card number six for this one I'm using this beautiful blue pattern paper and all those leaves on top of the pattern paper are golden foil this is a gorgeous pattern paper I don't want to cover it up completely so for that I'm going with a simple cluster that I'm going to create by using a few of the leaves that I picked from the ephemeras for my sentiment I'm using again one of the ephemera sentiments I'm going to stick it with foam tape and you see I did add the foam tape only on the left and on the right of the sentiment this way I'm able to tuck inside all those leaves now I'm going to play a little bit with them and once I'm happy with the placement I will go ahead and uh, stick everything down now this is not a process that is really uh, quick for me I am one of you I just play around again and again until I find the perfect placement now if you want you can definitely go with foam tape at the back to even uh, add dimension however I decided for this little cluster of leaves to use just my uh, tape runner I'm not adding however uh, glue all over the background only in a few areas to just enough to keep it down and this is going to allow uh, some movement on the tip of the leaves so that they look more dimensional Again, you can use here some of the gems or you can add some dots like I'm doing here with my white contour liner. Probably one of my favorites from the whole bunch today. I absolutely love the simplicity and the color combo on this card. Oh, and I always love to read comments on which one of the cards was your favorite. Sometimes it's a big surprise to me that some of the cards that I didn't really care about become your favorite. So let me know in the comments below which card from this bunch was your favorite. So again, I absolutely love this pattern paper and I'm going to create another card using that as my background. This time, however, I'm going to cover a part of it with a white panel. And I'm going with one of the simplest of designs. I'm just going to stick three butterflies, one under the other, at the center of the white panel. It's not so easy to do that, trust me. You have to have a very sturdy hand, otherwise everything is going to be kind of crooked. But that's the beauty of having a handmade card. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So you see, I don't uh, uh, get stressed too much about the alignment. I just go for it. I feel like this is not very forgiving. So if you want to make sure that you are able to slide them on top of your paper, just use a little bit of glue underneath before you stick them down. So now I'm uh, using one of the sentiments again from the ephemera pack. I did use foam tape at the back and I'm going to place it down. I think it is a beautiful happy birthday card. And I'm going to stick this panel on top of my background paper you will still be able to see that beautiful blue and those gorgeous foiled uh, branches uh, peeking through from the border and that's why I made sure that the white panel is quite small. I did allow for a half an inch of a border all around. So just stick the whole thing on top of a card base and you are good to go. A lovely happy birthday card and let's move on to the next card. Now for this one, again, I went to the brown pattern paper. I feel like it makes the perfect background for uh, sunflower clusters. With foam tape, I'm going to place a white rectangle on top of that. 
So you see, I keep the same look and feel for all the cards in terms of uh, a card design. And by having all the same uh, elements from the same collection, it is going to guarantee that all the cards can be a part of a 10 card set that you can give as a gift. So now I'm going to create a cluster, kind of a diagonal. You know, this is one of my favorite ways to create clusters. So in the ephemera pack, there are flower arrangements with those on flowers that they are already made for you. I combined two of them and then on top of them, I'm going to add my sentiment. And there are lovely big uh, chipboard stickers on the sticker pack that I showed you in the beginning. And also lovely sentiments that you can use from the ephemera pack, both to get the exact same design. Now I'm going to embellish that uh, flower cluster a little bit more by adding some of those leaves at the top and at the bottom. Always auditioning before I stick anything down. And for these uh, leaves, I'm going with a tape runner at the back. So they are going to lay flat. And if you love dimension, it is always nice to have different layers on the ephemeras. So some of them lay completely flat, others on top of others with one la uh, layer of foam tape or even two layers of foam tape to pop them even more. Again, add some blink either with the gems or with any sequence that we have. I'm going with my contour liner again. I'm going to add a few dots at the center of the sunflowers and a few scattered around. And here's a part that I didn't edit out just to show you that I do change uh, my mind even at the st last step. So you see here for some strange reason I wanted this leaf to be in a completely different area. So here are some close-up photos on this card. And let's move on to card number 9. And for this one, I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper with the pumpkins. Now, this is one of the pattern papers that um, you need to use it as it is. You cannot do lots on top of it since it is so pretty. So I'm just going to cut it to be um, for, a, um, for a landscape card. So I need this to be a five and a half. And this is one of my go-to simple designs that I like to do when I have a beautiful pattern paper. You have seen me doing that again and again. So I am going to use a strip of golden cardstock at the very bottom of this design. So um, the idea is to just stick this pattern paper on top of my card base while having a little bit of a sign at the bottom. Now this can be any other colored cardstock that matches the colors in those pumpkins in the design of the pattern paper in general. So I am going to use foam tape at the back of that and just place it on top of my card base. The quickest and simple card design but at the same time it always looks so elegant. At the bottom you do have a white space where you can stamp your sentiment or you can add one of the sentiments included in the ephemera pack like I did here. And as always, some final touches. I'm adding some white dots with my white contour liner. You can definitely use the gems. Very simple card, but I think it is absolutely stunning. It looks so elegant. And the video is getting bigger. It's already 18 minutes. And that's something that YouTube doesn't like. But in any case, this is the last card for today. Card number 10. So for this one, I'm using my circle tie and I'm just trying to choose an area from this pattern paper to cut out. So this is going to be my background paper. On top of that, again, I'm adding a white rectangle. Here is the circle that I cut out from the pattern paper with the butterflies. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and place it on top. And this is going to be the base where I'm going to build my cluster on top. So for my cluster for this card, I picked a bunch of uh, uh, sunflowers and uh, this cluster does match the sunflowers on the background paper. So it is uh, nicely coordinating. And uh, I'm going to glue everything down with uh, my matte glue. I didn't add extra um, foam tape here. I do have dimension already on uh, the circle. And I'm going to pop another sunflower at the back. I do have a few extra leaves that I can add. And this is where I realized that for this set of 10 cards, I haven't done a window card, which is one of my go-to designs, and I haven't even done a shaker card. So I could definitely go all the way to 12 cards, but I'm going to stop here. Just to add some life and uh, more interest on my card, I'm trying to decide where I want this bird to live.
I'm going to just pop it on top and then uh, as um, a base where that uh, bird can sit on, I'm just going to add one of the um, chipboard stickers that says for you. So this is a very generic card that you can give in this season for pretty much any occasion. Now the truth is that for creating these 10 cards I haven't even used half of the ephemeras from the ephemera pack. You can see I used only a few of the gems, I didn't use many of the chipboards and uh, I think I used only 10 of the 20 pattern papers in uh, the paper pad. So there are plenty of products to recreate even more cards in this style. So here are some close-up photos on the last card for today, which is definitely one of my favorites again from this set of 10 cards. And I'm going to add here all the cards, all the photos of the 10 cards. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Links to everything I used can be found down below in the description. Don't forget to leave me a comment and to like the video. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.